Welcome back to our next podcast on cue card making. Turn on auto caption for better experience. In the bustling city of Varanasi, India, nestled on the banks of the holy river Ganges, lived a young woman named Maya. Maya was an adventurous and inquisitive soul, always seeking new experiences and opportunities. She had grown up immersed in the rich tapestry of Indian culture, with its vibrant festivals, ancient traditions, and captivating myths. Maya's insatiable curiosity led her to pursue a rather unconventional career. She became a folklore investigator. The role of a folklore investigator was a unique one. Maya was tasked with exploring the depths of India's diverse cultural heritage, uncovering hidden tales, and preserving them for future generations. Armed with a camera, a notebook, and an unwavering passion, Maya ventured into the heartlands of India, seeking out storytellers, artists, and local communities. Maya's first assignment took her to a remote village in Rajasthan. She had heard whispers of an old folk dance that had been lost to time. Determined to revive this forgotten art form, she arrived at the village, her heart brimming with excitement. The villagers welcomed her warmly, intrigued by her mission. Days turned into weeks as Maya immersed herself in the village's customs and traditions. She listened to elderly storytellers recount ancient legends, watched artisans meticulously weave intricate patterns, and witnessed the graceful movements of dancers who were masters of their craft. Through these interactions, Maya absorbed the essence of the village's folklore, capturing every nuance with her camera and documenting each story in her notebook. Maya's next assignment led her to the mystical hills of Himachal Pradesh. Here, she discovered a community of musicians who played an enchanting instrument known as the Ravan Hatta. The Ravan Hatta was an ancient stringed instrument, believed to have been invented by the demon king Ravana himself. Intrigued by its history, Maya dove headfirst into learning the instrument from the few remaining musicians. As she strummed the strings of the Ravan Hatta, Maya felt an indescribable connection to her Indian roots. She spent days practicing the melodies, each note carrying the weight of centuries-old tales. Finally, she organized a grand performance inviting people from all over the region to witness the revival of this forgotten musical legacy. Maya's journey as a folklore investigator took her to countless corners of India. She unraveled the secrets behind ancient temple rituals in Tamil Nadu, documented the tales of valiant warriors in Punjab, and learned the art of traditional pottery in West Bengal. With each experience, she discovered a profound sense of fulfillment, knowing that she was preserving the intangible treasures of Indian culture. Maya's work as a folklore investigator garnered recognition and respect across the country. She became a beacon of hope for the fading traditions, inspiring a new generation to cherish their roots. Through exhibitions, workshops, and interactive sessions, Maya shared her knowledge with schools and universities, ensuring that the stories she collected would be cherished for generations to come. Her job was not just about research, it was about bridging the gap between the past and the present, celebrating the rich tapestry of Indian culture, and keeping traditions alive in a rapidly changing world. Maya's journey as a folklore investigator was a testament to the power of passion and the importance of preserving one's heritage. As she reflected on her remarkable journey, Maya realized that her work went far beyond a mere job, it was her life's calling. Through her tireless efforts, she had become a guardian of India's cultural legacy, a custodian of stories that held the collective memories of generations past. And as Maya looked ahead, she knew that her quest to protect and celebrate Indian folklore would never cease, for the tales of her land were as boundless as her own spirit. Thank you for listening to our education podcast. As we wrap up this episode, we want to take a moment to express our gratitude for all of our listeners. We hope that our podcast has been a valuable resource for you in your educational journey and that it has provided you with insights, inspiration, and knowledge that you can apply in your life and we look forward to sharing more insights with you in our next episode.